Following the launch of our semiconductor strategy, which includes an initial investment of a billion pounds, I'm in South Wales at this world first compound semiconductor cluster of researchers and businesses. I'm going to find out how organisations like these are securing the UK's position in the global sector. So how is the ICS helping the UK become a leader in compound semiconductors? So I guess there's three different aspects to this. There's, there's training, which is actually a critical element in, in supporting companies and, and other universities across the UK, uh, developing the skills of those staff in these very specialist in, environments. There's research, so it's fundamental research pushing the, the next stage technologies for compound semiconductors and then, but not just doing that in a one-off way, doing that in a very manufacturable way so that those can be quickly translated to industry. Uh, and it's doing actual manufacturing for small-scale industry partners or industry partners that want relatively small numbers of wafers, which can be several hundred thousand devices a year. Well, it's been fantastic to see that with you today, Peter. Thank you very much. Thank you. He is part of a, an entire supply chain, uh, which will underpin all of the major uh, industrial uh, verticals within the UK, including medical, including communications, mm -hmm. including uh, net zero, power, uh, whatever that is, we have the entire chain. So ITV makes, makes the wafers, we have chip making capabilities within the cluster, we have packaging capabilities within the cluster and we have equipment capabilities within the cluster. So we have the entire chain to pr pr provide a sovereign capability for the UK's industry to benefit from. And Drew, thank you so much for having us today and explaining how IQE has that capability and the ideas to help protect against supply chain disruptions. As you can see, Britain is already a world leader when it comes to researching and designing semiconductor technology. Our new strategy, which will create a national semiconductor centre, will double down on these core strengths to create more skilled jobs, grow our economy, boost our national security, and cement the UK's status as a global science and technology superpower.